Hi guys, Joel from Prepper in the Woods here, and I'm outside today. You can tell it's really cold out still, um, but I have some wood to process to uh, for storage, and the timing was really good because Clive gave me this. Uh, but I'm going to test the knife out and see how we get on. I'll give you my thoughts at the end of it. Right, so so far I've done probably wrist size and up. I mean, that one was a good size. Uh, you shouldn't be doing it with anything this size anyway, mostly kindling. If you do split wood, uh, supposed to use an axe or all the rest of it. But again, did it really well. Had a nice little knot in the middle there. Went through that, no problem. Knife's holding up good. Um, again, see that edge is fine. No problems on the edge, just a bit of dirt on the spine, no problem there. Uh, I'm going to try to chop now. Two hours later. Okay, so that was a forearm workout, but I am impressed. That is definitely a bit over than wrist thick. Um, took me a bit of time to chop through it, but um, I did it. And um, again, uh, no issues with the blade. You can see the edge there. That was fine, that was a good bout. I felt like 10 minutes of chopping, but it did well. Held up, good weight behind it. Uh, it choked up as far back as I could. I wasn't wearing my gloves, um, so that was hitting my fingers a little bit, but choked as much as I could. You let the weight do the work, and uh, it took some time, but it did it, so that's good. Let's move on to the next bit. All right guys, so we split wood that was too thick for this knife and it handled it well. Um, we did some chopping, which um, was a good workout, but it actually, again, again, it was a thick, uh, it was wrist thick, but it did the job. And then we did some feather sticking with after all that, it's still feather sticked. So my final thought is um, for a custom made knife, it is a good knife, it's sturdy, it definitely is a workhorse. Um, I did beat the top of it a lot and that held up well. 
Um, here is the edge. I'll see if I can get a picture against my jumper. Oh, it looks. Let me see if I can do it. Hold on. I think the lights are reflected too much. I just want to show you one little bit. Let's see if I can see it here. The little microscopic chip. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. Probably too small. But yeah, it's a little bit of a chip there, which is probably from me um, chopping with it. Um, but you can easily strop that out um, with a strop. And I might, I'm going to sharpen it. Well, I might sharpen a little bit because it did beat it up a bit. But again, held that well. So yeah, interested in that. So other than that, no other marks on it, held up really well, a little bit of strop and this will be back to normal again. Handle again, feels right. So if you're thinking about getting any of these, uh, I'll, put a link, I'll put a link in the description box below, it's just cold, I'm cold and tired now. Um, but check out RJ Bushcraft, uh, you can get one of these, uh, I'll put more information on there and he's been doing a lot of custom work. So message him if you're interested about that. Thanks guys for watching. I'll try to put up a couple more knife videos soon uh, with a bit more work. Uh, I'll abuse them a bit more, but again, this is Clive's uh, knife, so I don't want to break it. Thanks Clive for letting me use a knife. Um, thanks guys for watching. I'll catch you next video. Remember, like, share, subscribe.